Welcome to the Dressage Institute. We love to be collaborative with other coaches and other learning platforms. So we are often asked by other YouTubers and other platforms to really create some great content for their clients. This is one of those videos and we did this for Natasha Eltol that you're writing success. So I hope you enjoy this. We had so much fun making this. Tracy Norton. Epic question. So Tracy asks all about basically what I mean when I say a horse is sticky or sticky to the left or sticky to the right. And she's think, assuming it means suppleness, which is right, Tracy, you're right. And she also said that her horse feels like that occasionally, but she'd like to know how to troubleshoot it basically and how to solve it before it becomes an issue. Okay. So let's get into that a little bit. So what do I mean by sticky? Okay. When I'm riding my horse, what I'm always trying to think of is that in my rein, in my legs, in my seat even, that it all feels the same, okay? That it all feels even, that it all feels relaxed. So if I squeeze this rein here, that the reaction that my horse gives me, and it might only be like this, guys, like the tiny, or even this, yeah? And I want my horse to react or yield to that. And when I do that, I want that reaction on that rein to feel identical to the reaction on this rein, okay? If I ask my horse to say circle left or circle right, I want the circle on the right to feel the same as the left, okay? And if it doesn't feel the same, those might manifest in different ways. So for a really advanced horse, it might be that you, um, uh, they're actually very visibly straight, they're not crooked, but actually when you feel them, when you ride them, maybe their nose is slightly twisted like this. So if you watch higher level horses, you might see a couple that sort of cruise around like this, that's a sticky point that's not being solved, that's just being hung. On a, high, on a lower level horse rather, it might be that when they turn a circle to the left, it feels fine, but when they turn a circle to the right, they fall in all the time. That's a sticky point. They're sticky a little bit to the right, okay? So how do you solve it? How do you solve it? So come with me, let's have a look at a wall because I think that's probably gonna be the best way to articulate it to you. So, well, on the wall, okay? Wall's a really good place to be with a horse because it gives you a measure. This wall is almost like a training wheel because as you can th see, if you're riding a straight line near a wall, the horse can only really go that way and lean up against the wall. He can't really do too much else. So this ends up being a little bit of a training wheel for you and also helps you figure out where they are a little bit crooked, okay? So when I'm sort of cruising up the wall here, the whole time I'm saying to my horse's body or even let's say my horse's head to begin with, head, horse's head, will you look that much to the right, to the right? Yep, that was easy. Horsey, would you move the same amount to the left? Oh, that was a bit stickier. Now it's not visible, so it's not this, yeah? It's this. It's like almost just my eyes moving. It's not a visible thing, it's just the willingness to open, the willingness to yield, okay? So if the right hand side felt easy and the left hand side, I came across a little bit of a stick. And when I say a little bit of a stick, it's just not as smooth as the other side. It might be as simple as that. In that moment, I go, that wasn't quite as smooth. I'm going to supple that area. So again, I'm walking up the wall. Tiny little squeeze with my right hand. He, he flexes, he listens, good job. Tiny little squeeze with my left hand. And I feel, oh, that's gonna take a little bit more work than this side did. That's me going, whoop, that's sticky. Solve it with suppleness. So, little look, little look. Oh, that's sticky. Leg yield, 10 meter circle. Pushing the quarters out. As I leg yield, it makes the inside hind go further under, makes him take a bigger step. So it really encourages this sticky part to open. Come back to the wall, go straight, ask again with my little tiny aid for that little bit of flexion. 
If he listens, super, forward with no message. If he doesn't, back to a leg yield. So that's how you're able to tell if your horse isn't supple enough when you just play with the stickiness, okay? Another one might be we're moving the hindquarters. So let's say we're beginning travers, yeah? So we come around the corner because the corner kind of creates a travers anyway, and we wanna start our first travers, okay? And on this train, I come around the corner and he happily stays like that for one, two, three, four steps. And then I go, cool, let's go straight again, okay? I do it the other way. I do my travers around the corner. Remember the corner kind of creates the travers shape. And then when I hit the wall, I keep going. But when I hit the wall here and ask him to keep the travers, he leans into this shoulder and he pulls on that rein. And I kind of can't keep the quarters in. I don't try harder. In that moment, I go, right. He's pushing on this leg. It's a sticky leg. What am I gonna do? I'm gonna make him more supple to the inside of his rib cage again, okay? How am I gonna do that? I'm going to keep the natural bend for the travel on a circle. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to leg yield a little bit over and then circle and then leg yield a little bit over and then circle. The natural bend keeps the travel that we're looking for and the leg yield gets that shoulder more upright. So as you go around, shoulder more upright. As you go around, shoulder more upright with the leg yield. Shoulder more upright with the leg yield. Now I've got my training wheel again. So I again, come around the corner, leg yield into the wall to get that shoulder up. I can pin it against the wall to help me. Now big one here, big leg yield. So he's got his shoulder up and then keep going again. Again, if he dove, just do the same exercise. That's the sticky point. Sticky points are where it's difficult to do what was simple on the other side, okay? You might have it with a horse going on the bit as well. They do this, ah, one way, and do, 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 the other way, yeah? That again is a sticky thing. So how do you solve this, ah, you get them more supple, yeah? All right, so you're up here, will you turn right? Yes, will you turn left? No, as soon as I turn left, the head goes up. Okay, like we did with Mowgli. Let's just open a rein, turn a circle, get the quarters crossing over so that you use that bit of your body. Now turn left again, because that's nice and easy. Now turn right, oh, I got it. So you find those sticky points to get the connection. And rather than avoiding the sticky points or trying to move, you do that same movement harder, you say, that's my opportunity to use suppling exercises, okay? And again, if you need suppling exercises, three part series, one, two, three. I don't know if the editors were good enough to be able to do that. <laughs> but one, two, three, these three here are suppling exercises that you can do. And you use these exercises not only as a whole workout, but in moments of stickiness. What is stickiness? When you can't replicate the same thing you did the other way. I hope that made sense. I hope you enjoyed watching this content just as much as I enjoyed making it. This sport is my passion and I love the sport. I love the horses and I love the people in it. This sport should be a collaborative environment where we can all help each other succeed. So please, if you enjoyed this content, click like and subscribe. But also, if you want me to help your students as well, please let me know of a video. I'm more than happy to make some content for you as well. I can't wait to see you soon, guys. Bye.